Hey people, this is Conrad Lane here. Welcome my YouTube neighbors. This is just my journey to Conrad Lane, Turo IPO journey, where I'm gonna try to do my best to figure out the intrinsic value of what potentially Turo might be once it be, uh, goes through the initial public offering, which is IPO. I have strong conviction in this company as a Turo host. I'm not telling you to invest in Turo host, so don't try to litigate me or take me to court. I'm not telling you to purchase Turo stock when it becomes a stock. I'm just simply showing you my journey. Stay tuned, watch the video, people. Hey people, this is Conrad Lane here. Thank you for following me through through my Conrad Lane IPO tour journey. I have some more good news, people. Some more conviction. Um, did some more research, and I figured out that an awesome company um, by the name of Sumitomo, which is actually a Japanese company, um, is actually partnering with Turo, and Turo is partnering with uh, Sumitomo. And pardon me if I'm mispronouncing the name, um, but it's so awesome. And the reason why this is awesome is because it creates another way of Turo expanding into a whole other country, a whole other market of Japan. This is what I'm talking about, people, growth. When you, when you invest in a company, for me personally, and again, this is not financial advice, I'm not telling you to invest in Turo, not to invest in Turo, not to invest in any company or not any company, just simply sharing my current lane IPO uh, Turo journey. My perspectives and opinion. Doesn't mean I'm right, doesn't mean I'm wrong, but this is what I think is correct in my personal opinion. So look, when, when I invest in a company that's already public, I try to figure out who their relationship, what relationships they're currently in. You know what I mean? I wanna know, okay, like, um, how healthy the relationship is. I want to know if the, the partnerships that they're uh, making um, also ha are participating in growth because sometimes companies can bring someone down. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like, uh, hypothetically speaking, if you date someone, if you guys have parallel goals and you guys grow as a team, typically, it doesn't matter if it's a friendship, especially if it's a relationship or marriage, you typically grow as one functioning unit if you both have an actual plan and you both are positive and uh, are growing and you guys, but if someone's bringing another person down, you both fall pretty much. So that's how I look at stocks, you know I mean? Sorry if I'm giving an unorthodox type of a analogy, but that's the first thing that came to my head. It's all freestyle people, no script. <laughs> so like I said before, um, that's how I look at this. So essentially I look at Turo as a, definitely have strong conviction. I believe in the company and I'm looking at their partnerships now at a very granular level. I'm trying to figure out who they're partnering with. And this is a company that has been doing well in their market. Um, they're over quite a bit of markets in their market. And they also are traded on the, on the stock exchange as well uh, and everything. So I'm going to leave that uh, below and I'm going to show you guys uh, the video to show the proof that they are traded. They have gone through some type of exponential growth and they seem like a, a major player in Japan. Again, this is from the stats I've based on and I like that they're very transparent. Uh, I like the fact that they have investor relations page. You can actually look at their growth, their dividend payouts, etc. Um, there's bank, the Japanese banks there uh, are shareholders, for example. Something I'm really, really um, into is figuring out who invests this company, who believes this company. So almost from a very distant relationship, uh, because I'm not an insider at all, I try to figure out what the relationship is among these two parties and see if it's potentially beneficial for them and for myself as well. So follow me through the screen, I'm gonna show you guys. Thank you for people for following me through. Uh, I have some really impressive news. Their Patro has partnered with Sumitomo. And again, pardon me if I'm mispronouncing the name. I think I'm saying it correctly, but I might be mispronouncing it. It's called Sumitomo. But it's a Japanese company, which is phenomenal and really impressive because that means Turo now has a footprint in Japan. There's a whole nother market that's being uh, available uh, to potential investors or for growth. You know, it's, that's definitely growth. That's amazing. Think about it. Not only the United States, not only Canada, not only to all around the world, it really is becoming a world like the, the lot. The world is Turo's lot. And that's what I love. And that's something that stuck with me is that when I think about rental car companies like Hertz, Enterprise, and not to take from them, they're, they're great in their own light, but Turo is the blue ocean new company that's coming into town and changing things. You know, it's awesome. Like these other companies like Enterprise, Hertz, they're limited to their actual per square foot, uh, to an actual lot and to the limited amount of cars they can have on their lot. That's, that's a huge disadvantage in comparison to what Turo can do where the world is the lot. And the fact that Turo has been granted and has um, has a partnership with Sumitomo, a company 
another strong company in Japan, which is phenomenal and they're very transparent in regards to, I'm gonna show you their web page. They have their investor relations showing, they have their growth to dividends. Um, Jap Japanese banks are actually invested in our shareholders. So a lot of companies there actually believe in this company and are well vested. And this company's been growing as well. And they're a major player in the J Japanese market, which is phenomenal. Let me scroll down and show you guys. See that? Toro welcomes investors at Amex Ventures and Sumitomo. Awesome. And this is so cool. And like I mentioned, you guys, it's it's so cool. Like right here, it says, today we're celebrating uh, two major mile markers. First, we are thrilled to welcome Sumitomo Corporation, like I just stated, and American Express Ventures to the Toro family. Their investments have brought our Series D total to $104 million, and they promise to be invaluable additions to Turo's amazing roster of strategic investors. Second, and probably the most important for you as you plan your summer travels, we are launching our commercial host program, which will allow us to turbocharge our global footprint by making Turo available to independent car rental entrepreneurs throughout the world, people. Didn't I just mention that? Didn't I just not mention that? And even before I read this, like... I I'm I'm already that's the that's the frequency I'm, I'm at. I'm so impressed because as I mentioned, Turl, the world is their lot. Absolutely phenomenal. It's beautiful, and the fact that now they have a market in Japan, so cool, guys. So cool. I'm just gonna scroll down here. Look at this, people. Do you see that? Do you see this? As a company that is intensely focused on enabling its customers to have unique travel experiences, American Express strategic investment positions us well within the travel ecosystem. Sumitomo Corporation will help provide guidance as we look to expand to Asia. Did I just mention that? Particularly Japan. Awesome. <laughs> we welcome expect to learn from their expertise in global marketing and customer service as Turo continues to make a huge impact in the automotive uh, and travel industries. Phenomenal, you guys. And look at this. And look at tra the, the growth trajectory, you guys, from 2012. And like I said, Turo started off as a company named Relay Rides, and they rebranded themselves as Turo. So awesome. Look at, look at the growth. Look at the growth, people. It's so consistent. Ugh, I love it. So that's one. That's another reason why it's on my list. And this is not meant to be a fan club type video, even though it probably starts to sound like that. I do love the culture of Turo, but please understand uh, I'm also using facts as well. I'm using growth. I'm using um, different uh, benefits and different partnerships that Turo has acquired. You know, I mean, it's just so phenomenal. The fact that they want to expand. That's something when I invest in a public company, which Turo is currently a private company. Um, it's That's what I look for. Their partnerships, how they're going to grow, how they're going to uh, adapt as well. Um how they can, what, 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 who they can acquire, what assets they own. Do they own real estate? Do they rent out real estate? Um, do they invest? Uh, and so I look at all that. So this is just really good news for me. I want to show you guys something else as well. That's pretty cool. Let me show you guys something else. Got some cool stuff to show you guys. So this is Sumitomo's page. Remember Sumitomo Corporation, Japanese company, which is awesome. They're a major player, people. Here's some of their information. Number of shareholders, 205,689. Start listing, so Tokyo, and I go to Fukuoka. Shareholder composition, look at this. This is a breakdown, and this is what I like to see. This is the investor relations section. Major shareholders, look at this, look at this. The Master Trust Bank of Japan. Look at all this. these banks, life insurance companies. Oh my goodness, look at this, people. So there are companies, and they are actually like, I mean, they're they're definitely a, a major player um, in Japan, guys, and this is just absolutely phenomenal. Like it really is. It's just such good news, and just something that really allows me to have strong, even strong conviction in the Sumitomo Corporation company. Not only that, they're transparent with their stock data, or stock data, and they are very transparent. I just really appreciate that. Let me actually show you something else too. That's pretty cool stuff. This is their stock, people. It's traded on the OTC market. So if I wanted to invest in this company, and what I like to do is I might I have a parallel strategy where this, and I'm not telling you guys to do this because it's not, uh, this is not financial advice. I'm simply sharing current lanes to row IPO journey, which is my vlog and video log of myself and my journal. I'm just sharing my strategies. If you guys invest in a company or not, that's on you guys. That's do at your own risk. Not telling you to invest in Tro, not telling you not to invest in Tro, not telling you to invest in anything, not telling you to invest in Sumitomo. But what I want to do, and I might do, I haven't done it yet. I might do this. I might uh, go, go through the OTC market 
and purchase Sumitomo. I might do that. Um, considering it, I might. I have not done it yet. And the reason why is because when I find out a company um, is partnered with a company I'm invested in, and if they if it appears to be, and of course I I don't have all the answers, but if it appears to be a good investment for me, I'll invest in their partners as well if they're traded publicly in some type of fashion. Um, this typically this their partners as well, you know. So that's something I look for. Just I look for parallels. So yeah, I just want to show you guys that. This just hope you guys have a good time with me. Um, about to get out of here, and thank thank you for hanging out with me. Hope you guys like, share, subscribe, and thank you so much. Carlin out.